Okay guys, this is uh, the Robbie D armbar, which was not named by me, by the way, but I did kind of come up with this setup. Um, anytime I'm in, and honestly, this can be done from a lot of different positions. We'll just start with a half guard. Um, uh, I'm usually baiting this underhook, so I can either have a knee shield or I have this. Whatever I have, I, I make it disappear. And I have my frame just to be safe, so this is like candy to a baby. I take my knee away, he reaches in, I use my frame. Now look, this foot goes to the hip, and I trap, and I start putting pressure on the elbow. Now my other foot goes to the hip, push him yeah. away, and press down on that arm. The reason why Sonny can't get out is because he can't bring his hips forward. If Sonny wanted to bring his arm out, he'd have to bring his hips forward, like literally, and then pull your arm up. You understand what I mean? Yeah, like he would have to do that in order to escape. So with this, there's no way. Can you move your hips forward? Nope. No way, and there's my tap. Now, um, Sonny's arm can twist in a couple different ways. So sometimes when I get here, their arm twists this way. And what I'll do here is bring my knee to the neck and now yeah. kind of crunch that arm into my pocket and get the tap as well. This is a really cool move even just from the butterfly guard. If I start doing this, I start reaching over because I want them to, to try to get that underhook. Oh, sorry. That's right. And when they do, I can just fall right into this position. Oh, wow. Or this. That. And get the finish. That's kind of the beginning phase of that movement. If I was to teach you everything about that setup, it would it would take hours. So that's a good start to, to try to start getting that.